Hi, my name is Sarah, and today I want to talk about something that's pretty important to me and has been on my mind for a while, social media. We're all thinking about it, we're all on it, 24-7, it's slowly taking over the world and our minds with it. It makes us happy and validated and then anxious and disappointed at the same time. It doesn't make sense. Have you ever wondered, maybe social media is putting us on this emotional roller coaster intentionally? Recently, I've been thinking about that a lot, and today I want to explore the really intriguing way that social media algorithms maybe manipulate our emotions intentionally. Before we even dive into social media, we gotta talk about dopamine. Dopamine, we all know, is a natural chemical that makes us happy, it makes us feel good. It's a neurotransmitter with a range of vital roles in our body and brain. Recently, research has shown a really intriguing connection. Dopamine is almost directly linked to something called motivational salience. This relates to how we perceive our actions, the desirability of our actions and their outcomes. This is where social media comes into play. So social media platforms have become masters at the art of exploiting our dopamine levels. What does this mean? They do this through a technique called variable rate rewards. When our reward schedules are predictable, we know exactly when to anticipate this dopamine and our dopamine levels stay in check. But when our rewards are highly variable like they are on social media, our brains are overtaken by dopamine and relentlessly search for the next surge of dopamine that's gonna come. So now we know what's going on in our brains, but how would this actually play out in a real scenario? This is something I like to call the happy that upset game, and I think social media is constantly playing with us. I'm gonna put you in a scenario, stay with me. Imagine you just posted a great photo on Instagram, you're really proud of it, you think it looks great, you're expecting a flurry of likes and comments, you're waiting on your phone thinking for sure everyone's gonna love this, but instead only a few trickle in, and you start to feel a bit down, you start to feel disappointed, you start to doubt yourself. That's when Instagram decides to step in. And move on to the next part of our game, the happy part. Instagram, Facebook, and so many other social media sites sometimes delay those likes and notifications only to later deliver them in a satisfying burst. So your initial disappointment quickly turns into elation. It's like they're saying, we made you a bit upset, but look, now we're here to make you happy. And you're thinking, oh, I was upset. What made me happy? Social media. We've all been there. I think we could all relate to this emotional roller coaster. It's not a very unique experience. I think it happens to most of us multiple times a day. We've all found ourselves compulsively checking for updates or refreshing our feed or riding the highs and lows of social media. We know we're being played with. How do we break free? Well, here's the silver lining. You don't have to stay on this roller coaster forever. You can start to regain your control because at the end of the day, you're the one in control. We could start by doing little things. I like to disable the notifications for social media apps on my phone. So it curbs that constant, oh, what notification am I gonna get? Did I get XYZ? Did XYZ check this? And there are other things you can do too. We can switch your phone's display to black and white. This reduces the visual appeal and makes it a lot less tempting. So what have we learned? What can we take away from this? Social media platforms may indeed be manipulating our emotions, but we have the power to take back control. Instagram doesn't rule our lives. We're in the driver's seat. By understanding how these algorithms operate and staying mindful of our use, we can reclaim our emotional journey on social media. We know what's happening. We know we're being played with. This is when we stop the game. So let's remember, you're in charge of your digital experience. It's your choice. You can ride the roller coaster or you can step off. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you put down your phone after watching this.